Hey guys, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In this video, we're going to be discussing Dementors. If you don't know what a Dementor is already, then you've probably been watching the wrong franchise. However, if we don't properly define what a Dementor is, it will be hard to argue whether or not they can die. So I'm going to start with a brief introduction. Dementors are cloaked creatures that are three meters tall with dark gray scabby skin. Dementors are foul creatures that represent unhappiness and despair. They are commonly known as the guards of Azkaban prison, responsible for ensuring that all of the darkest witches and wizards inside don't escape. Dementors were originally created by JK Rowling as a way of representing depression. JK Rowling, having experienced depression herself, wanted to create a creature that personified all of the negative aspects of depression. When, in an interview, Rowling was asked to describe what depression feels like, she said the following. It is that absence of being able to envisage that you will ever be cheerful again, the absence of hope, that very deadening feeling which is so very different from feeling sad. Sad hurts, but it's a healthy feeling. It's a necessary thing to feel. Depression is very different. Which sounds entirely consistent with this independent description of Dementors. Dementors are among the foulest creatures that walk this earth. They infest the darkest, filthiest places. They glory in decay and despair. They drain peace, hope, and happiness out of the air around them. Even muggles feel their presence, though they can't see them. Get too near a Dementor and every good feeling, every happy memory will be sucked out of you. If it can, the Dementor will feed on you long enough to reduce you to something like itself, soulless and evil. You'll be left with nothing but the worst experiences of your life. In the prisoner of Azkaban, Harry witnesses a Dementor firsthand. Harry's sense of helplessness during this experience was perfectly described in the following excerpt. An intense cold swept over them all. Harry felt his own breath catch in his chest. The cold went deeper than his skin. It was inside his chest. It was inside his very heart. Harry's eyes rolled up into his head. He couldn't see. He was drowning in cold. There was a rushing in his ears as though of water. He was being dragged downward, the roaring growing louder. And then, from far away, he heard screaming, terrible, terrified, pleading screams. He wanted to help whoever it was. He tried to move his arms, but couldn't. A thick white fog was swirling around him, inside him. So, are Dementors living? Can they die? There are two theories for how Dementors are created. The first outlines that Dementors do not breed, so to speak, but actually grow like fungus under conditions of despair, degradation, and hopelessness. The greater the concentration of these conditions, the more Dementors will appear. The second theory is that Dementors do in fact breed, and while we don't have more information on this, it's supported by the fact that Fudge, in The Half-Blood Prince, mentions that they're breeding, and that the breeding was the cause of all of the mist present in the sky. Regardless of how they're created, one thing is for sure, they are not living creatures. They are something in between. We know that the only known defense against a Dementor is the Patronus charm, which Harry shows us time and time again. A Patronus is a good defense against Dementors because it produces a positive energy force that represents everything that Dementors aren't. The Patronus represents hope, happiness, survival, and purity. As the Patronus does not feel despair or hopelessness, as a human might, the Dementors can't hurt it and are repelled by its presence. But even though they're repelled by it, it doesn't appear to damage them or hurt them. It definitely doesn't kill them. So if there's only one way to repel a Dementor and it doesn't kill them, can they be killed? Can something that's not alive be killed? Are they alive? JK Rowling sort of addresses this in the following quote. You cannot destroy Dementors, though you can limit their numbers if you eradicate the conditions in which they multiply, i.e. despair and degradation. But this quote doesn't necessarily indicate that they are immortal. It just means that we can't destroy them. What she's saying is that there is no spell, potion, or curse that will eradicate them. The Ministry of Magic classifies Dementors as non-beings, also known as non-human spiritus apparitions. This classification refers to creatures formed out of human emotions. Sounds like a perfect description for a Dementor. What we need to remember about non-beings is that they aren't mortal or immortal, they are amortal. This means that they aren't able to die because they were never really alive. They are a raw magical presence that only gives the appearance of being alive. When you cast a Patronus on a Dementor, it either wards it off or reverts it back to its inchoate essence, or rudimentary form. We see a similar sort of remission in physical form, to a lesser extent, in Voldemort after he's destroyed by his rebounding killing curse. But even though the Dementor is stopped for a period of time, it's never really destroyed for good. The Dementor is just reduced to a lesser form, a form where it's not able to inflict the same harm that it normally could. If you were to place this lesser form back into an environment of despair, degradation, and hopelessness, then it would likely assume its full form again. However, with the presence of a Patronus and all of the positive emotions that it brings with it, 
it is not a suitable environment for the Dementor to recreate itself. We can draw more parallels to depression here, as when you are able to overcome depression, it isn't that those underlying feelings or thoughts have completely escaped you, it's just that you've overcome them. When you've overcome depression, you've created a new environment in your mind that is no longer conducive to perpetuating these negative thoughts. If you're a happier person in general, then it gives these negative thoughts less ground to stand on, which means that they would have less influence on your being overall. I hope that answers the question and I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoy the content, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, you're a wizard Harry!